What's poppin' you guys? Your girl D. Alright, back with another video. To be honest, I am quite scared of this next uh, reaction. I'm about to do. I'm about to do twelve scary videos only the brave can see don't know if i'm gonna fully watch this whole video just based off of the fact that i'm already scared and haven't seen it yet so yeah 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 so let's get into this video <laughs> give me a thumbs up for just doing this in the first place and then one one like equals one prayer for me after this so it's just like yeah just give me a thumbs up you guys only the brave can watch all of the scary videos on this list so if you are the type who gets creeped out easily then this is probably going to be too much for you to handle throngs of people gather in the mountain province of guizhou china to witness strange trumpet sounds in the sky as you listen tell me what this is and why it would happen way out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> The group hears four strange noises in a row, and yet none of them actually sees anything scary in the sky. But that's not all. The phenomenon known as sky trumpets is only the first phase. Soon the mountain range is filled with the sounds of a giant unknown creature, an enormous wildcat that's heard all over but seen by no one. Why are we here? Okay, first of all, not even going to this place why is it gathering to hear stuff that we can't even see just to see if we can see it you, you i'm not going mm -mm. <laughs> In the final phase sounds like two giant creatures clashing. There's a clear victor, and one of them sounds like they are falling from the sky. This has to be There's no way all these people Modern are going to something. cannot explain what's behind these noises, nah, which makes you wonder if there's any semblance of truth this behind special. the various nah. ancient mythologies that speak of like, similar like, events. Mm -hmm. Mysterious, unexplained lights were recently sighted over Brazil, just north of Rio de Janeiro. Nah, the diagonal that's, that's formation of strange lights stretches into the night sky and blinks in and out of sight. It's not... No. Do you do you guys think that UFOs are real, like aliens and stuff like that? Like, I think, yeah, I think they might have some UFOs out there somewhere in the distance. Do I want to meet them? No, but I think they they out there somewhere up there, you know. Constellation because there are no stars in the sky. Just these strange unexplained lights that slowly move to the right and glow a fierce red when the camera zooms in. As the camera moves across the city to show there are no stars, they see more strange lights in the sky. These ones closer to Earth, a large column of lights at 56 seconds that should not be there at all. It looks like it could be a building, but according to them it's not. More lights seem to drop and look... I can't stand him. Like, his voice is just... Like, it's not, but, you know. But, I don't, it could be the government, though. The government be doing some shady stuff. No offense to the government. But, you know. Hey. To the ground, but it's too far away to tell. When he zooms out, he is surprised to find most of the skylights are already gone. This happened on June 24th of 2020. And if you're wondering why I was it's never recent. reported on the news, maybe it's because we were never supposed to find out. Some friends practice soccer and talk about life when they cross paths with something that will change all of theirs oh forever. No. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, what is that? Oh no, we leaving the house. We leaving the house. Caught on camera is what they claim to be a strange goblin creature. If I see that in my house, they can have the whole house. The entire 
entire house burned to the ground. They can have it. Oh, my TV didn't scare me. Oh, across the kitchen floor, only one of them looks directly at it and he drops to the ground and covers his eyes like they burn. The creature, which barely Who comes up to the waist I'm level, leaving. runs out from behind this area, behind the refrigerator. They lose sight of the goblin in a dark room, and the encounter is over. No. At least for now, a person is walking no. through the forest when a strong feeling of paranoia guides them to this moss-covered opening. They can sense something off. And we can drag one of these oh, core progressions there. What is that? It's a whole ad. That's cold. Something odd is near, but only when watching the video later do they realize how close it really was. A broad face with a wild flat nose and open mouth stares back at them. I don't this is see. a troll caught on camera, says the internet. But the alleged troll sighting <laughs> looks more like a natural formation in the bark. So I can't say that I agree. I a don't YouTuber agree with that named one. Adrian Bustamante documents yet another night of paranormal activity in his apartment to prove once and for all it's haunted. There are a few different paranormal videos on his channel, but March 9th of 2017 is when the best paranormal evidence yet is caught on camera. He doesn't have ghost hunting equipment, but he is still able to pin down the supernatural activity to one corner of the room. It isn't long before he gets all of the paranormal proof he needs. Oh no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. what we're not gonna do is stay right. Why is he still in the house? It looks Why like the object's moving by house? itself, mm -mm. but at one minute and 45 seconds, I'm almost positive there's a string tied around the bottom of the glass vase. My overall analysis is that Adrian- Okay, if it isn't real, he got way too much time with his hands, but if it is real, why is he still in the house? Get a different apartment. Sage it. Something. Why is he still there? Probably moving the object himself. But your opinion can help me decide if this paranormal evidence is fake or real. A family outing is interrupted when an unknown object floats towards them. Barely noticeable at first, if not for its shimmering color and odd movements just beneath the surface. As they curiously approach, they can see it's not an object floating underwater, but rather an unidentified creature, an unknown worm-like blob that makes one of them turn away. Mm -mm. I don't care if I am in the ocean. I can see a jellyfish and I'm leaving the ocean. It doesn't even have to be that big. It could be a starfish. I'm leaving the ocean. Mm -mm. Why are they still in the water? If you see something and you don't know what it is, why are you still in the water? Why? In fear, this is his real reaction caught on camera. Tell me what language this is and what's being said so we know where this video was taken from. <laughs> At 37 seconds, a brave family member tries to grab it with their bare hands, and back underwater, the creature goes. They claim to have a second video, which, as of this time, has yet to be uploaded. <laughs> According to them, the bottom of the creature has a face with one dark eye. Hopefully they upload part two of this creature sighting soon so we can all see it. It looks real so far, but I will reserve my final analysis until then. A paranormal explorer named Yash Sadiq brings us a ghost sighting all the way from Tamil Nadu, a large state in South India. This abandoned house has sat rotting for years until their investigation reveals the presence of something lurking within. Well, we're a dark and mysterious mm -hmm. figure watches them from the other side of a wall it and then the oh, no. It looks like a real ghost sighting at first. But look again and you'll see a small edit here at 2 minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> 
It could be a camera glitch from Paranormal Energy. However, I think the real reason for this edit is because uh. they didn't like the way it looked the first time and decided to record the scene again. A tense situation is recorded live from above as a special technician combs through a suspicious package left under a mailbox in Tampa Bay, Florida. The brave specialist slowly slices open the corners of the cardboard box with a steady hand and hyper focus one oh, false so move could potentially sever one of the wires within if there are any to be found they peel off the lid of the package and peer inside all too aware of the consequences if they aren't careful the contents of the package are emptied out one by one Luckily, it seems like this technician has successfully taken care of the situation, but I can't help but feel the tenseness of one wrong move potentially changing that entire outcome. I mean, I can see how it's scary, but I don't think that dude? Shit could be scary. A single strange light in the sky has a YouTuber named Jesse Table Beast looking up with curiosity and horror. Yeah, it's definitely fine, whatever it is. <laughs> say, yeah, it's definitely fine. He and his friend decide to drive towards the strange blinking light and investigate what it could be. The still I'm image taken at 4 minutes and 58 seconds gives. I want y'all to hear me clearly. I'm not driving towards anything. If I hear a noise in the house, I'm leaving the house. If I see a strange light orbiting in the distance, why would I go towards it? Makes no sense. For me to die? For me to risk my life? For what? When I could be living and enjoying my life, taking trips somewhere. But no, they want to go towards the light. Towards it. It's a better look at it. A disc like object floating in the air. There's an intense light coming from the bottom and also a small circular dome on top. They don't know what it is and neither does anyone else. A minute later, they are at the source of the light, which is much larger now but still just as unexplained. They think the light is coming from a nearby power plant, but it's too dark and rainy to tell, so they go home without knowing for certain. This light, while bizarre, might be from a busted power generator, but if that were the case, then you'd think the light would be low to the ground and constant. The light is high in the air. Tell me what you think it is. A dark alley gets even creepier when a mysterious figure peeks in from nowhere. At six seconds, it straightens up and briefly assumes a human form before losing its shape and abruptly flying away. sighting has been caught on tape if this security video is to be believed if not then it looks like an insect landed on the lens to create this I effect and then flew insect. away a youtuber named crossover likes to play basketball but we all know that's not why he's on this list he lives in a house on the edge of some woods that are known to be haunted at least if you believe what's about to happen to him next Crossover goes inside of his dad's workshop to talk more about his plans for the channel. You know, I have had channels in the past, but, you know, I kind of stopped them now. They were a little bit weird, and I don't even know what the fuck. Nah. He ain't do that. And behind him, one of his dad's tools rolls off the shelf. Like, Crossover wonders like, how the was, object it was moves pulled, all by itself. Rolled and pulled, like, hold on. And a scary voice tells Crossover to come back as soon as he goes off camera. He thinks this is a ghost EVP because he says he was in the workshop alone. However, the voice could have been edited and someone could have been hiding under the shelf That's too to make much the effort object for him to look be like it was pushed by a ghost. Like, yes, too, I've got a challenge much. for you. But yeah, we survived the end of this. If you made it to the end of this, thank you. Because I was scared. You see, I jumped like maybe three times in this video, but uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, join the family. And with that being said, you guys, bye. We're gonna play now, ready for the show.
I'm about to take down, you already know Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you got